Hey, what is up guys? Trex here and welcome back to Terraria, but this time we're not in our 1.2 Let's Play world as we normally would be for the start of any Let's Play, but this just isn't just any Let's Play. This is our brand new Terraria 1.3 Let's Play. I got an early release from, um, from Reed DJ. He sent me a message on YouTube saying how much he liked my videos and that he wanted me to... I have an early release of 1.3 so that I could look at it, I could record it, I could show you guys what it's going to, what 1.3 is going to be like. And so far, I'm pretty impressed. Although, I do have to say, there's no real 1.3, nothing showing 1.3's existence in the early game because it's all in the later game with the, with the new Martian event that I got to play through, which is incredible. Um, and that Cthulhu event, ugh, I'm not going to give it away, but it was my favorite event. My favorite boss battle, I've got to say. Um, we've got bunnies now, as we've had for a little while, except bunnies are now little deities. And if you kill one, you, you have this bunny counter. And if you kill a certain amount of bunnies, you have to fight the bunny boss god. And after that, after you beat the bunny boss god, you can, you can kill as many bunnies as you want. But before that, th they're just basically lower deities that if you kill it's kind of like the goats or the sheep in DLC quest so yeah I got a pre-lease from Redigit um, which is pretty incredible I don't think any of my Steam friends have um, I know some other youtubers have gotten 1.3 pre-releases uh, meet your demise Yermer hero um, rooster teeth um, White House official I believe was one Jamie Oliver uh, Carly Rae Jepsen Vivo, I believe, was another. But yeah, so several people have gotten some 1.3 Let's Play, uh, 1.3 pre-releases besides me. But I do have to say, um, as I said earlier, the early game is kind of just similar to everything it's been. There's no real features, but this episode, I think, just to start off, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to chop down some trees as we normally do in every single Let's Play. So we should probably get on that, as I've been doing. There's some bunnies over there towards the towards the left of the screen. Do I kill them or do I not kill them? Mm. Also, we have 50 new guide names, like Brett. I believe that was one of the new ones. I can't see the others because he's not dead. Uh, greetings, Shimbuckles. Is there something I can help you with? Yes. Um, character creation is a bit different now. You don't get to create your own name. It gives you a variety of different names or a random name. Um, so I just chose Shimbuckle from the list because it, it's comedic. I feel it describes my channel because it just kind of doesn't make sense and doesn't know where it's going. Just like Lindsay Lohan in Rehab. Um, so yeah, that's something different with the character creation. Also, you can't really make clashing out match matching outfits. You have to... You can only... You can't use the same color multiple times. So if you wanted to have like a green overshirt and green undershirt. You can't do that anymore. You have to have different colors. So I just went with blue hair, uh, purple hair, or purple undershirt, t uh, tangerine, not th that's not tangerine, tangerine is a type of orange, turquoise for the overshirt, and then some copper colored slash brown leggings and some black shoes because that's really all I can do. But I think we've gathered enough wood so far. We have slimes now. Uh, as with the bunnies, where if you kill enough of them, you get the bunny boss. If you kill enough slimes, it's like, it's it's a pretty big number. It's like 50, 50 or something. If you kill 50 or so slimes, you'll get the, you'll get the king slime bus to spawn. King slime boss, not bus. Uh, we have come to a cliff. That's a slight issue. Um, but yeah, you will get the... King Slime boss to spawn. He's not a new boss. He's been in some previous updates, but it's still pretty cool how, after all that work, you can get uh, just basically a free boss fight. And with that free boss fight, you get some pretty cool gear. What have we got here? These pots. Um, po pots are now collectible. One in every what was it? 100, I think. You'll collect that pot, and then pots are specific for that region. Ooh, we do have a chest now. Do we have any of the new items? We don't. That is slightly unfortunate. I, I'm re I really want one of those laser rules because those things look sweet. I'll, I'll come back to these ores sometime eventually. For now, I just want to go and see how far we can get into this into this frozen ground. We need to see if we have one of the new biomes. Uh, we, of course, have that Martian event that doesn't bring up about a new biome. But we do have the new cyborg slash technic biome. I don't know really what it's called, but it's a technical, futuristic biome, which is pretty cool, and 
Now, you used to have to defeat, what was it, all three mechanical bosses or something? Or beat Plantera? Oh, gosh. You used to have to beat Plantera to get the cyborg. Now you just have to, um, we found a life crystal. Now you just have to get one of those biomes and you have to build a super house. Cyborg is now kind of like the truffle. Uh, you have to have an above ground, um, future biomes. Oh, gosh. Stop hurting me. I, 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 I believe that we are going to die in just a second here, so that's like... Okay, then. So, yeah, we have three different corrupt biomes. There's the Crimson, which we've had, or the cor Corruption, which is the original corrupt biome, which everybody knows and hates. Sorry, loves. Um, well, I guess we have four, actually, if you count the Hallowed. We have the Crimson, we have the Hallowed, which was also with the Corruption that came with Hard Mode. Uh, when hard mode was added to the game. And that's kind of an evil biome. I, I guess they're more evil biomes instead of corrupt biomes. Uh, there's the Hallowed. And then with the 1.2 update, we got the Crimson. But we also got a new update, or a new biome with the 1.3 update. And that is the Tainted Biome. Where everything is just kind of... It's all... It's, it doesn't really have a specific color scheme. Like with the Corruption, it's purple. Crimson, it's... It's a uh, red. It's kind of like the hallowed, where it's multicolored, except all those colors reflect death and poverty. And there's yeah, some of the it. I don't. I really. It's a pretty controversial, pretty bold move. Some of the enemies are things like malnourished children or um, AIDS people, whatever you call those. Um, what, what's that virus? Ebola victims. Yeah. So some of those enemies are fairly controversial, but it does make it very, very interesting. And Terraria, it, it's kind of like the Dark Knight. You're like, man, are you a hero? Or Dark Knight's like, is Batman a hero? Ooh, he's dark and brooding. Ooh, Gary Oldman. Ooh, spoiler, spoiler, spoiler. Bane. Ooh, Tom Hardy. Is Batman a hero? With with this new Terraria biome, y you so sort of start to question yourself like, uh, like everybody questioned Batman at the end of the Dark Knight. You're like, am I a hero for killing all these poor impoverished children or s killing these starving three-legged puppies with Sarah McLaughlin's in the arms of the angels playing in the background? Because that's one of the um, that's one of the biome tracks. Sarah McLaughlin's in the arms of the angels. It's really fitting. Uh, I'd say it's it is quite fitting. Um, so yeah, that that's a that's a new interesting biome. I think. Redigit might have gone a slight bit too far with that, seeing as the water is actually blood and there are dead bodies floating in, in it. But it's his game. He's allowed to do what he wants to do. Also, guys, um, Terraria has a new world generation. We're now on different planets, so we get infinite worlds. But since they're planets in the round, we sometimes get generations like this with cliffs. And they're, they're, they're rounded, and you can kind of see that, oh, the world generation... Might have messed up a bit there. Um, floating islands, we don't have those anymore. We actually get to go up into space. Uh, space has been in, I believe, every instance of the game. It's, but Except it doesn't really give you anything special. You just get to jump higher and it's a bit darker. But now you get to go into space and you get to explore some different little floating asteroids. That's what the floating islands now are now. It's kind of like Starbound, except better, because Starbound's like different planets. is like, ooh, we get to go to space and find these little these little satellites that are orbiting our planet. Satellites, for you homeschoolers out there, it, there's man-made satellites, and then there's uh, natural satellites, which are things like moon, so satellite is just a smarter way of saying moon. Uh, so, you homeschoolers don't get confused. Um... So yeah, you can go and visit the floating islands. It does take a lot more skill to get up there and a lot more dedication. Whereas er, in previous versions of the game, you could sometimes climb up there and build a sky bridge across. Now you really have to get up there, if you know what I mean. You, you have to come prepared because you will fall a lot. Also, um, wings, they remove some features of wings. They no longer stop you from getting fall damage. You have to flap or glide uh, to prevent yourself from getting fall damage, but wings are still pretty cool. Uh, to make up for this fall damage boost, they gave them, what was it, I believe, an extra 20 to 50 blocks? Aw, oh, we got corruption. Dang, I really wanted the tainted biome. Oh well, well, we'll find another world with tainted biome. So we do have some Eater of Souls. Oh gosh, ow! Dang, we died. We were eviscerated or destroyed by Eater of Souls. Shembuckle, no! So yeah, um... I think we're going to have to wrap up this episode pretty soon, though. But there's so many new cool things in 1.3. It's so great. And I can't wait for the next episode of this because 
This is such a great update. I am really loving it. I'm going to build myself a house before we end off the episode. So let's just make ourselves a nice cozy house for us and the guy to live in. Um, in separate bedrooms, of course, because we're that type of family. Um, we should get rid of that. That a worm came out of that. Hello. Alright, Mr. Guide. Mr. Guide, where are you? Let's finish off this house real quick. We can just throw it together quickly because this is just going to be a starting house. Um, Alright, there we go. We need a center aisle. Like such. I'm, I'm, I'm not talking about 1.3. I need to continue walking about 1.3. We have, what was it? With the tainted biome, we got three new types of wood and a total of seven new types of wood, I believe, in the 1.3 update, which is pretty awesome. Pretty... It's really good. There's so many new blocks. It it 1.1 1. 1 was like what was it 500 or a thousand items or something? I think there was like a thousand items added in 1.2. There was an insane amount of items added in 1.3. It was something like oh what was it? I can't remember. Something like 2,500 I think was what it said on the form page. But yeah, insane amount of items. There's also a new hard mode. Um, or a new mode after hard mode. It's called Extreme Mode, and that's pretty insane. You have to beat the Martian event and the Cthulhu event first, though, to unlock it. But then after you get you um, beat the Extreme Mode, you get this another mode, and it's kind of like Age of Empires. Um, it's the Ludicrous Mode, but you have you have to do an insane, insane amount of things. You have to fight every hard mode boss at once. You have to fight every event type at once. What was it? You have to fight every pre-hard mode boss and hard mode boss with the gravitational potion equipped, I believe, so that you um, are flying upside down. You have to defeat something like 500 wyverns. You have to visit 30 different moons. Yeah, it's insane to unlock ludicrous mode. But I haven't gotten there yet, but some of the things I've heard about it seem insane. And it seems really cool. 1.3, it's so great, guys. I just can't wait for it to be publicly released so that you guys can all play it and enjoy it with me. Um, but that's it for this episode of Terraria 1.3 with JXW. I hope you guys all like this video. Um, there will be some more, except it will be very, very infrequent. I will have to ask permission and such before the next episode. But anyways, guys, I hope you liked this video. If you did like the video, be sure to leave a like on the video and go buy Terraria. It's currently, what was it, if you download the game, you get $5 in your Steam wallet. So, ridiculously cheap on Steam right now. Go download Terraria. Insane game. So, anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching. I will see you all next time. Let's kill this zombie, first zombie of the series. And, oh gosh, can we, can we kill him? There's fireflies everywhere. Oh gosh, it's like Joss Whedon's dreams or nightmares, depending on who you ask. Oh gosh, our guy just screwed us over. So anyways guys, I will see you all next time. Zombie is dead. Goodbye.